How do I approach the treatment of dermatomyositis? This is a very nuanced question, and my answer is nuanced because there's really not a one-size-fits-all for this disease. It really depends, number one, how severe and how aggressive is your disease presenting? How long have you had it for? If you're presenting with rapid rash, terrible weakness, even central weakness where you're having difficulty swallowing, that is a true emergency. My hope is that I'm seeing you in the hospital. You will have made it to a hospital and we're treating you with high doses of steroids, perhaps other medicines to control that immune system a little bit quicker. If I'm meeting you in the office, you've seen a couple of different doctors, you've had a rash for a while, but you've never been given a name, I feel a little less need to be aggressive, but more about finding the right treatment. So steroids are an important part for those who are a little bit more severe, more rapidly progressing. For those who I'm meeting, often I'll use just different immunosuppressive type medicines uh, that can help kind of control the inflammation, help the underlying autoimmune process, and get patients feeling better, looking better. Uh, after thinking about these immunosuppressive medicines, there's really some immunomodulating medicines that we think about, uh, including a medicine intravenous immunoglobulin, which is just uh, you know, a tremendous tool in our toolbox to help patients. Doesn't lower the immune system, helps maybe get rid of some of these pathogenic disease-causing immunoglobulins or autoantibodies that are affecting disease. And again, it's really well tolerated, safe in malignancy, etc. There are so, there's such still a need though beyond these medicines. I mean, when we treat dermatomyositis, that's kind of the list. It's steroids, it's immunosuppressive medicines like methotrexate or mycophenolate mofetil and intravenous immunoglobulin. After that, many of us in this field reach for things off label. We reach for medicines with maybe per, perhaps more side effects or give us a little bit of pause when we're dealing with a disease that could be associated with malignancy and really highlights the need for more research in this field and better treatments and more specific treatments, both for the skin and for the muscle.